I learned about Sovereign through the internet actually. I was currently at an outpatient program before, or an inpatient program before I was here. And when I was there, I found out my insurance didn't, wasn't covered by it, it needed to be JCO accredited, so I came here. There's a few ones. I've been shooting meth for the last year up until I came to the last rehab. Um, my life was just going to shambles. Nothing was really working out for me. I was either homeless or choose rehab, and my aunt gave me that ultimatum, and I chose rehab. Honestly, I saw that you guys did yoga, and you guys had some holistic approach to it, and I was really interested in that, so I decided to do that. Um, I have actually been to some other treatment programs I've been to four. Uh, it's different by a lot of things. Um, there's, it's a lot bigger when it has how many people they hold. Um, I've seen anywhere between 25 people being here to like close to like 60 or 70 people being here at a time. And that right there alone is kind of shocking, but honestly the big group settings were really nice. It helped you interact with people more, which is something that you get out of track with when you're in the real world, or when you're doing drugs in the real world. First impression, I really didn't like it very much right when I got here, but I think that's everybody. You know, you're checking yourself into something new and you don't understand why everything's so crazy. You don't, it just doesn't feel right to you. But after being here for about 30 days, that went away and I honestly feel bummed that I'm leaving soon. My expectations for the program were to pretty much integrate my, my addiction and figure out how it was affecting me, not just the drug addiction itself and being addicted to the drugs, but the trauma behind it all. And that's where most of the key lies. It's not so much why you did the drug exactly, it's the underlying issues of your using. Because nobody just does drugs to get high, they do drugs to, for some other purpose. And I've been to other rehabs where they didn't treat it that way, they just treated it because you wanted to get high and that's not worth it, and that's not the right way. It had enough room for everything. They always had food in the kitchen, um, great staff at the house that I was at. I mean, we weren't really, we weren't like super like restricted from certain things. Like we need to go shopping, we could, and our house manager's really nice. The house was pretty spacious. I mean, anywhere between eight to nine, or eight to 10 people in my house. Um, I'm in the biggest room right now, and honestly, it's kind of nice. It's uh, nicer than some other rehabs I've been to. Oh, therapists and staff, that's probably the main reason why I ended up deciding to stay. The staff are amazing here. The staff that work here that we deal with aren't in it for the money. You can notice by asking them, they don't. If it wasn't in it for the money, they'd quit. You know, they actually enjoy helping us. Uh, my therapist's name's Edwina, and she's one of the really like down to earth therapists that you always look for, you know, she understands why you would feel stressed out and then she helps you look at ways differently to where it makes sense to you and it helps you integrate real life situations into now. Group therapy sessions were probably the most uh, promising thing for me here. The group, I mean, I'm not a real, I wasn't, I thought I was a people person before I came here and I realized a lot of things negative about my dealings with people on the daily. And if it wasn't for the group setting, I probably would have never fixed that because one-on-one -on -one sessions, I'm great with people, but in a group setting, I'm a totally different person and they helped, they helped me balance out the two and make them perfect for being around people. My favorite group's the trauma group. Um, it's, it's a really deep group. I mean, you, if you participate in the trauma group, well, the way it works is you pretty much tell about your past traumas that you have and you speak through them all from, in like a story form. And that's where a lot of my issues come from is the trauma that I went through in my life. Had I not had that trauma group here, I probably wouldn't be as far as I am today. Wake up in the morning, eat breakfast, take a shower, go to a beach walk if we have enough time depending on how the house is running and if we don't do the beach walk we go to the center then either way we end up at the center towards about nine o'clock then we go to group 
get 15 minute breaks in between a couple groups, then we go to lunch. At lunch we get to kind of hang out for like an hour or so, and it's actually kind of nice because it, it, it doesn't make you seem like you're feeling rushed, and the groups aren't that long, they're about 45 minutes, and that's a good thing. Um, and then towards the end of the day, about 3 o'clock, we get out of all the groups, we go back to the house, we eat some food, make dinner, and we have the option to make ourselves dinner, have them make us dinner. Normally we cook at my house. Um, then around eight, some, somewhere between seven to nine, we go to an AA or an NA meeting, and we go to the meeting for about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on which meeting it is, come back to the house, and we relax the rest of the night until we go to sleep. Honestly, I like most about Sovereign is that how dedicated they are to helping you get what you need from treatment. I mean, certain people need more care than others, and the people that need more care obviously get the more care they need here. And it's it's not like you feel like you're not getting as much care as they are. It's obvious when you need when they need help, you get help here. Um, great staff, great people all around. Um, I'm leaving right now, and I'm really bummed because there's a great group of guys that are here with me that we all try to help out each other, and we all try to help each other's issues get better. I can't really think of one, but I mean, if I were to pick one, it would be the friends that I made, because I made real friends here, and I never really made real friends before. I thought I did, but they were either using me for my drugs, my money, my, my, where I'm living to sleep at my house because I thought they needed it and they were using me for it. And here, the only friends you make are friends that actually care about you. Um, honestly, I would say, you know, come here, try it out, you know. Don't try to leave within your first 30 days because you're going to want to. But after you want to, you're going to want to come back here after that 30 days. You're not going to want to leave. I mean, it's a great program. I mean, you gotta, like any other program though, you gotta give it your best effort. If you don't give it your best, it's not gonna be perfect for you. And that's every program out there, not just this one. You know, there's so many good things about this program, I couldn't even name the list of them all. The things that I'm gonna miss the most is the staff, the peers. I actually think I'm gonna miss groups. <laughs> but I mean, I, I love this program and I'm really excited that I've come this far to get out of it, but I'm really also bummed that I'm leaving.